Today we show you the first type of training we do with the puppies, and it starts at just three days old. Every morning we always check the puppies' collars to make sure they're not too tight, and then we weigh them to ensure that they are getting enough of mama's milk. 1,143, 1, big girl. The first type of training we do is what is called early neurological stimulation. It starts off by tickling their little toes in between the toes with the Q-tip to wake up the neurological system. These exercises can only be done from days three to about 16, and each one lasts about five seconds. The first position we put them in is head up for about five seconds and the blood rushes away from the head. The body has to deal with that. The next, the head goes upside down and now the blood is rushing to the head and the body has to deal with that. They are a little milk drunk. You can see how docile she is right now. The last position we put them in is upside down on their back, which she does not like. And she's like, I'm puppy. And then we have thermal stimulation, forcing the body to adapt to a temperature change. I know. We don't restrict the puppy if she wants to walk off. And she's just a little puppy. The amazing thing about doing early neurological stimulation, all right, that's good, is that these benefits of a better adrenal system, 1,214, oh, let's see here, get him on the, off the edge. He is like, no, we'll just call it 1,214. One more time. Now I'm paranoid that I messed it up. Oh, yep, all right. <laughs> all right, buddy. The early neurological stimulation has benefits that last for the rest of their life. And they include a faster adrenal system, meaning that the body can put in hormones and take them out like adrenaline. And then also a stronger heart rate, a stronger heartbeat, better adaptation to stress, and a better immune system. And if you don't do it within the first 16 days of life, they will never, you won't be able to do it and these benefits won't be had. Oh crap, I totally forgot. I was running my mouth and I did this backwards. That's why you shouldn't do this and run your mouth. Oh well, not a big deal. Now if for some reason the puppies were already stressed, like they weren't drinking enough of mama's milk, Maybe mama got sick and couldn't feed them. For whatever reason, you would not add early neurological stimulation on top of an already stressed litter or puppy. I know, buddy. All right, it's time for Red. Red is known to be the feistiest. Let's see, make sure that's not touching. Let's see how big she is today. Not the biggest, but the feistiest. 1,013 grams. I know, sweetie. I know. All right, let's not mess this one up and do it uh, out of order. A little bit of toe tickles. She's also really good at, she just like splays these paws. Just splays the toes. She's like, this is some BS. All right. Now head up. I know, sweetie. She is not amused. Head down, make sure to support the puppy. I know, and she is not a put on her, get on her back puppy. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's the best she's ever done on her back. The last time she couldn't even get her on her back. I know, sweetie. All right. If you're wondering where Thang is, she's just chilling. She knows this isn't a big deal. Go to uh, one-time zoom really quick and then show Thang. 
We got Thang just down here, relaxing. She is snoozing and knows that her puppies aren't being hurt. All right, how's this collar? I don't know, the collar's a little tight. We're gonna loosen up his collar. We check that every day too, just because they are growing. Boom. All right, oops. Let's, let's fix this. I think yellow and red got it a little bit off kilter. Let's make sure it's zeroed out. Boink, boink. All right. Blue is 1,227. 1,227. Tickle toes. Tickle toes. With the exception of red, and if you notice, she is so much better on her back now uh, than she has been. She would not let me even put her on her back at all the first couple of times. And so they're finally kind of getting used to this. It's not nearly as much of a stress, so the puppies are adapting. Oh, little boy. All right, held him a little long there. I got too enamored with his, his yawn. I know, buddy. All right. I know. All right, and now we do a little thermal stimulation. He's like, what is this? This is awful. All right, oh, looks like Fang heard something. Oh no. And then we got Gray. All right, his collar is fine. Gray is usually fighting for the big spot. 1,190, big boy. And he's got that nice chest blaze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I was already kind of holding you vertical a little bit while I did that. Yeah, this is definitely the one they like the least. Some of them probably like the on their back even less than the upside down. I know, buddy. I know, a little belly rub. Thermal stimulation. He's like, uh, we're going to get off of this. Okay. Now it's time for Orange. Orange is the one that Colin really likes. He's got a feeling about Orange, he says. All right. 1,080. 1,080. All right, blood rushes away from the head. It's got a little sunburst, a little blaze. Blood rushes to the head. Make sure we cuddle, support them. And put him on his back. Give him a little belly rub. Yeah. And now onto the thermal stimulation. Oh. He is like, uh, uh, sir, what is this? Let's back up off of this. How's your collar? Uh, that's fine. Purple is next. Purple's got a lot of tenacity. You can see it in the way she fights for the teat. 1,031. No, sweetie. I know, tickle those little paws in between the toes. It also begins the process of desensitization for when we want to groom them. And we're gonna be trimming their nails. 
Now the blood is going away. And now blood is going too. I know, sweetie. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. And now the mean cold towel. Oh. She's like, let's get away. All right, one last puppy. The last puppy. Oof, you've been doing some growing. This collar is too small. All right. Well, we have to keep them relatively tight because it's really easy for them somehow to get their like little legs through. 984. Little puppy, I know, you're the little guy. But you still go after it. Mm-hmm. Oh, tickle, tickle. We're not necessarily looking for any kind of a response from tickling their toes. He's sound asleep. He's like, wait, what's going on though? Now he's waking up. I oh, know. His eye is a teeny, 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 tiny bit open. His ears are still shut. You expect their eyes to open up about the 14 day mark, but that's not a guarantee. That's just an average. And we are creeping up on that 14 day mark. I think we're at day 12. Oh, let's get you off of that. I'm running my mouth. Hope you guys enjoyed our early neurological stimulation with the puppies. As you can see, let's go to one time zoom and Thang is still just taking a break, taking a nap, because she's a little gang gang. Yeah, she's a little gang gang. We will see you guys on a new video very soon with the puppies. Bye. Puppy.